Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. Just wanted to create a quick video with a an update on on the system, the Robert Anderson Gold Line Trading Bot, and a quick update on my morning oil trade for a lot of you that I know are following that trade very closely. So let's get to the intro, and we'll be right back. <music> All right, guys, so today was somewhat of a disaster. Had, as I had mentioned in my video yesterday, I knew today I was going to be, I had to leave the house really early for work. I was gonna go downtown and I was gonna be there all day. So what my intention was and what I had started to do was I started to create my video. Uh, I started about 8, 8 a.m. this morning, Central Time. Today is the 26th. And took my oil trade, which was profitable. For all of you that are um, watching that morning oil trade setup that I have posted and has been getting uh, pretty popular, a lot of people like that strategy. I will show you guys um, a quick... Uh, something that might help you uh, in the future that happened today during the second session that I think you guys are going to get some value out, so stick around for that. And But most importantly, I started up the, the strategy and you know I had about maybe about 11 minutes of, of video with my commentary and letting you guys know that what the format was going to be was I was just going to let the system trade all day as I've done the other three days, which we are in profit, which is good. I'm going to show you guys our PL for the small account challenge as well. And so I, you know my my plan was to leave it to leave it running, which is what I did. And literally the second that I that I took my my picture off from the screen, and left the system running, I ran out because I actually had to run downtown and it took me almost an hour to get there. So the weird thing is, is that, so I wasn't able to take my, I wasn't able to take my NASDAQ trade. I was able to take the oil trade. Luckily it was early in the morning. It was early enough. I think it was at 8.10 or 8.15 where that activated. So I was able to take that, got some profit there. Couldn't take my NQ trade, which would have lost today. So that's so keep this in mind because this is going to play out with the theme of this video. Uh, that would have lost today, so that would have lost me two hundred and fifty bucks. So, in you know, I guess in in that regards, you know, me having to leave this morning, I was a little bit rushed. Did save me two hundred fifty from that trade. So just positive on the oil and then left this. Now, you know, it's getting around 10.30 in the morning and haven't seen any notifications on my phone from NinjaTrader that I had any open orders, nothing pending, not even setups, because if this thing finds a setup, even though it might not get into the trade yet, it will activate an order and it'll just kind of be floating out there. You guys have seen the system, you know what I'm talking about. And I didn't get any notifications. So at about 11.30 on my phone, I messaged the private group that I'm in with other people that have bought the subscription. And I asked them, I'm like, hey guys, you know, I'm not on the charts. I'm not looking at the charts today, but it's been super quiet. And everybody kind of responded, yeah, it's been, it's a quite been a quiet day. Well, quiet to me it was different than quiet to them. Obviously, it was quiet based on the amount of trades that we've taken the last couple of days per day. Today, it did take trades, but it wasn't a lot of trades. So I understand what they were saying when they said it was, it was quiet, but my quiet was just way too quiet. So I got home and I got home after the market had closed. I had, shit, I don't know, seven or eight hours of video recorded onto my computer of the exact same chart from 8.27 in the morning. 
So literally right after I got off and left the house, this thing froze. Not the strategy, not the trading bot. This is not, has nothing to do with that. Something happened with my chart. I'm, <laughs> you know, I don't know what, what the hell happened, but it wasn't just the bot because my other Ninja Trader charts were all stuck at the same time. So with that being said, it didn't take any trades today. It did not take any trades. And I had all of this um, video footage, which then I'm like, okay, I can use the first 14 minutes of the video and show people where it gets, where you can actually see the chart get stuck. But then my audio sucked ass. And I was just like, one, I'm not going to put a video that shows that I'm an idiot and this thing didn't take any trades today. And number two, that the audio was complete junk. So I said, you know what? Scrap it all. I'm going to show people the trades that the system would have taken today. Uh, and I'm going to show you my oil trade. I'm going to keep this video short. We're going to reset for day number four. It's going to be tomorrow, which is going to be Friday. Uh, I know there's going to be some some volatility. And another thing, to, another thing is looking at the charts. Well, let's just start with the let's just start with the N uh, with the Nasdaq. Okay, at the top left. I'm going to blow that up. Today, the system legit did not take any trades. So the strategy in general had no trades on the Nasdaq today. So, but. And looking at that, so you can see there's a zero right here where there was no trades uh, today um, taken out. But looking at the day, at the session, okay, in general, this day was like a complete and utter chop fest. I mean, this is like the morning session here. This is like, I guess, late afternoon. Um, but like, look at this, this is just nasty pure nastiness right here okay so yeah you get a good move here the system did try to activate a few times but just for one reason or the other with the rules it did not uh it did not there's no trades i got activated here today so that's the nasdaq we pull up oil and it shows that oil lost a total of eight dollars today and let's go see where those trades are at. Let me scroll over. So that's trade number three. Uh, let's get to trade one here so we can see exactly what the system, what trades it was looking for. You know what? I could probably minimize this a little bit. There we go. Uh, where are you, trade number one? I was probably right there. Okay. Here we go. So trade number one. Uh, looks like we had a five-minute red line. So we had a uh, we had a push up. We had a pull back down. We got a touch to the five-minute red line, which is this big, thick red line right here. This is our kind of our activation candle. Pierces it. We are in profit. Okay. So we are in profit here. And seems like our auto trailing system came right back up and knocked us down. At least we got a $16 profit there. Okay. And that actually did kind of save us because look at how this thing just dumped afterwards. So that was a $16 profit on trade one. Trade two was a $14 loss which looks to be like a five minute goal line trade that also got activated on this pullback. This was the activation candle, pierced it. I'm assuming we got knocked out right here. And if not, we would have gotten knocked out right here anyways. So that was a loser of $14 there. So we are at $2 of profit um up until then and then let's take a look at this third trade right here let's see what happened here on this third trade all right so we had a one minute goal line trade came back pierced it got our activation candle wicked into the trade so you guys can see this wick right here on this candle wicked in boom 
knocked right out. That was a quick one. 10 bucks. The thing that saved me on this trade, um, or saved the system on this trade, I should say, because we didn't take any of these trades, but was that it was a one minute goal line and those have some pretty uh, tight stops. So that the stop there really did do its job. Okay, so three trades for a very small loss of $8 on oil. All right. Now let's take a look at the Russell. The Russell here shows that today had a loss of $30. All right, let's see. Let's see what the trades look like here today. I guess I could scroll this in, bring this down. So trade number two. So it had a total today of two trades on the Russell and here's the first guy right here so it looks like both trades on the russell today were losses and let's take a look uh we got a five minute goal line trade so we were we were in a downtrend we pulled back up into the five minute goal line we get our activation candle we get a pretty strong candle here that pierced it and we look like we were in some profit um obviously not enough profit to to activate our take profit but let me just see really quickly here uh 63.9 yeah it was some decent profit here and then you know, obviously, we probably, maybe even in the same candle, got knocked out. If not, right here, got knocked out of this trade. So it took a loss for 10 bucks. okay? Um, not the end of the world. So obviously, if we lost 30, we know we took two trades. Uh, that means that our second trade was a loser of $20. But let's just see what the setup was. Here we go. So we had a five minute um, red line. Looks like, uh, not the greatest setup in the world here. So we were in a downtrend. We had a pullback. Let's see. So we had a pretty good pullback here. Here's your overnight open. And we had a pullback activation wick was right here this sucker look at this oh so this guy came in literally wicked us into the trade and wicked us and got us out of this trade really really quickly um for a loss of 20 bucks so 20 and 10 a total loss on the russell of 30 dollars a loss on oil of eight dollars brings our total loss for the day would have been 38 now again i wasn't trading it so <laughs> so no loss there um let's show the p l from where our small account challenge stands we are currently at 2205.48 and that is roughly Shit, we had a nice day yesterday. We had a great, that NASDAQ trade in the morning yesterday. Man, that saved, <laughs> that might have been an account saver. Uh, 2205, so we're up a little over 10% on the account. Shit, that's pretty good. Uh, that's for two micros. That is pretty damn good. So let me give you guys an oil, um, let me give you a quick update on oil. I know that a lot of you are taking this trade, and let me let me uh, get this thing centered. So again, this is on my TradeStation account connected to TradingView. Today had a positive of one hundred and twenty-four dollars. Just took one trade, okay. And this is what I wanted to show you guys on this on this particular trade here. So we got an inside, we got an inside, let me grab my tool here really quick. 
we got in inside bar um, at 810. Okay, third bar in. The source candle, which you guys know my strategy. If not, I'll link it somewhere here for you guys to, to review it. Uh, the source candle was a doji candle, which shows indecision, which I actually like when I get an inside candle in there because now you're like building up that kind of like that pressure. And when we get a, a move one way or the other, it's usually got some pretty good thrust to it. So this trade activated. Okay, because obviously we went in a short. You can see where I where my execution was at. And for all of you that know my strategy already, my entry, my short um, order would be at the bottom of my inside candle. Okay, which is right there. And then my risk is the top of the source candle, which is the first candle to the left. Okay, that's 33, uh, 33 ticks of risk. 33 points of risk, okay? 33 cents, whatever the heck you want to call it. I don't care. Um, and we all know that my take profit is the same exact amount, 33. I could have swore today it was 32. So maybe I had this, it looks like it's on there. Um, anyways, I know it was either 33 or 32. Uh, that was right on there. And sure as shit, we get our full take profit there okay i think there but yeah there was some drawdown right here there's a drawdown right to halfway point um so again profit 124 bucks here's what i wanted to do with the video so obviously even though we're out of this trade at this candle right here okay even though we're out of this trade here we are not taking this trade here does this trade work probably let me take a look Regardless, we are not taking it, but just for amusement's sake, 50 points, wowzers. Uh, yeah. So even this trade would have worked, you know, it was still would have got you 50 points here on, uh, on oil if you would have taken this one, but do not. I mean, that's the, you do whatever you guys want. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. Nothing that I say on this channel is financial advice. Um, futures trading is risky, uh, trade at your own risk. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, um, I'm just letting you know the strategies that I trade in the morning. So my rules on my strategy, uh, for the eight to nine session is I only take one trade. Okay. So in that trade hit now here is, and I had some emails about this here today. I didn't even know where they got my email from, but I could, apparently it's on my channel somewhere. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing all the comments of all the people that have been taking these trades the last couple of days, and they love it. And one guy even told me that he passed his uh, prop firm evaluation account with this exact trade this morning, which I thought was really, really cool. So here you go. You've got an inside bar, but guys, it's the last bar of the session, which means if you were to get into this trade, you would have been outside of the 10 a.m. cutoff. It's from nine to 10. So this right here would not be a trade. I would not, not get in this trade because this is outside of our session, okay? Um, coincidentally, this one loses. You get a wick, you know. I don't actually, I, I can't say that it would, I would have to see this in market replay to see what this actually did. But regardless, would not trade it. So I would have, I only took one trade today and this is the only trade that my strategy would tell me to take. So hopefully, you guys, this helps you guys understand the strategy a little bit better. I'm sorry that the video, um, you know, I, I wasn't able to, to grab what I wanted to grab um, out of here today. But that's okay. It actually, I guess in the end of, in the end, it, it ended up saving us 38 bucks from our account, uh, me leaving today this morning actually saved me some money on the on the NASDAQ. But regardless, I, I like my strategies. I like to take them as many times as I can because it, overall you're, you're playing the percentages, guys. That's what's really the name of the game. So if you've got a strategy that's got even got a small winning percentage, 
as long as it's in the positive, it's if it's 60%, 55%, 65%, 70%, take the trade as many times as you can within your strategy because it's it's got a better expectancy to, to hit than doesn't, okay? But now one thing I will 100% leave you with is don't overtrade because overtrading is, that will destroy you. Either, either overtrading or trading with too much size, you start getting nervous, nothing works good. So there's my oil trade. There's a quick update on the Robert Anderson uh, gold line trading bot. Tomorrow, this thing will be trading all day. I'm going to edit the video very nicely so you guys can see just the trades. My commentary will be on there. Um, and then we'll also see what happens in oil. Again, if you guys are enjoying what I am doing on this channel, please like this video, comment. You already know that I am re reading all of the comments and I try to respond to every single one of you. So please subscribe to the channel. That definitely shows me that you enjoy what I'm putting out there. All right, see you guys soon.